News Now Sunrise continues the AI week with a look at how artificial intelligence is uh, playing a uh, part in so much of our daily lives from e-commerce to education. And this morning, we're shifting our focus to music. That's why we turn to our Megan Zielinski live in studio to see how AI is impacting music and local musicians too. Good morning, Megan. They, they take just a couple seconds. I have one here behind me just on how, the, how easy it is to create some songs. Musicians initially had some positive things to say about it, but as they started to play with this technology, they got a little concerned. Number one question is, um, do people know the difference? You know, and then the second question is, would they care? How close are they getting? Because these are obviously auto-generated new songs, but how close are they getting to something that could be already written? If you're asking it to write something, you know, in wherever, Mexico, and I'm asking it to write something here in the UPA, is it shooting out the same thing to both of us? Yeah. And now suddenly you've got songwriters, some, you know, putting out songs at the same time that are real similar. Home of the free, yeah. Little This is a means of... Uh, big, uh, or the music industry to just make more money and stop sharing it with artists and bands and news and you know then I'm a hundred percent against it. If that happened in 30 seconds you know what what does that do to the average Joe um, songwriter Well, Mark Tracy, let me show you just how simple this website is. This is called Suno.com, and all you have to do is put in a prompt here. So I typed in just an upbeat song about Erie News Now Sunrise on Channel 12. So if I hit Create here, look at how fast it's already thinking and generating that song. It's going to give me the music bed, the lyrics. And I'll actually be able to pull up some of those on the screen as well. And this is happening just within a few seconds. When I talked to those musicians at first, they were amazed. Then you just heard there about how... They have a little concerns about it. So here, Eerie Sunrise is loading up here right now for us, and I'm gonna give it a play. And you can actually see the lyrics right and read right along with it. Some of the other songs when we were showing this to those artists, it was giving some references right to Erie. We heard about State Street, we heard about Presque Isle. So you heard right from those musicians about, is this the future? It still has a little work to do, but we'll have to wait and see. From the studio, Megan Selensky, Erie News Now.